Hello YouTube! I am Pinstar and this is Parkitect Strategy and Tactics Quick Tip. Yes, Parkitect is a, uh, a spiritual successor to the old Roller Coaster Tycoon uh, 1 and 2 era games, but with a modern coat of paint, but it still scratches the same itch. And it has, is on sale on the Steam Summer Sale at the moment, so I picked it up and I've been loving it. So, let's get into our quick tip. So one of the uh, features of this game is um, uh, you have, you know, just like with the old games, you have your shops, uh, but in this game, they need to be supplied and getting supplied um, is a little bit of a logistical hurdle for a lot of players because they are, there are some uh, downsides to uh, restocking them in terms of uh, negative scenery values that some of the buildings uh, or people carrying around crates will generate. So I'm going to show you a little build here to very compactly get an area supplied of shops without hurting any of your scenery ratings. Uh, first off, we're going to want to pick a couple of shops here. Uh, let's go uh, pretzels. I do like me some pretzels. I'll just go for a thing of pretzels right there. You want to start with the actual shops that you want to sort of orientate this build. Um, and yeah, you want you want one thing of, uh, of food, one thing of uh, drinks. Uh, let's do hot drinks uh, since it is January right now. Boom, hot drinks. Um, and then I usually like to go for a third stall, uh, just just uh, usually some sort of utility or souvenir type thing. T-shirts. We got to sell them T-shirts. Boom. Uh, now, one thing I did, uh, one one thing to note here is, and actually did this wrong, is um, there's going to be a fourth building that you want, uh, you know, regardless of which other ones you pick, you're going to want to make sure you have yourself a bathroom. Uh, where is the bathroom? Toilets, there we go. And you want to actually make sure it is sandwiched in between two of your other shops. That may seem a little gross and unsanitary um, you, because you're putting your bathroom next to your food, but if for, for scenery purposes, there's, there's a reason for that, a method to the madness, if you will. Right then, so uh, we can go ahead and grab ourselves just a normal path, uh, paint them like that. Now, the problem here is that these shops need to be supplied from behind. I mean, you can supply them from ahead, but then people will see your um, logistics workers uh, carrying crates around. That creates negative thoughts, and that brings down your park rating. We don't want that. Um, so we need to supply them from behind. So we're going to, to uh, set up an employee path back here. Um, now, one, uh, there's a couple of utility buildings here that uh, are going to be very important to us. Uh, first off is going to be the depot. Uh, the depot here is um, basically a way for you to, I don't want to say teleport, but transport goods to an area uh, without having to wa grab them all the way from the utility shed. Like every, every park has one of these utility buildings that generates the, the things. And yeah, if you build your stuff near this, you can just get it directly easily. But otherwise, they'd have to pick up the crate and walk it all the way into the park and just annoy everybody that they pass along the way because people don't like seeing workers carrying crates. So these things sort of teleport the, uh, the, the stuff to it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to put this right here. Uh, but we're not done yet. There's, there's an underground connection that we got to make, but we'll, we'll worry about that in just a moment. Um, now, another thing that we're going to want here is because our people are going to be buying drinks, buying food, they're going to be generating a lot of trash. Uh, we will have garbage cans for that, but those garbage cans will eventually need to get empty. Um, and rather than normally to empty a garbage can, they would have to walk, your janitor would have to walk all the way back here. Here, we're going to use the trash chute. Now, trash chute, people don't like looking at. People don't like looking at the depot. Don't worry, we're going to be hiding these things. So I'm going to put the trash chute right here, just diagonally across from the depot. And we can set up the, both of these need to be connected via underground. So we just put one connector here and just draw it all the way back to the little connector over here. And now both, now we can sort of teleport our trash back to the garbage dump over here and we can get fresh goods, you know, teleported up here. Um, so that we, we don't have to have people uh, hauling stuff back and forth manually. Um, 
Now, we have a little bit more room here to, to this particular build here. So, um, also, in order for both of these to um, uh, be useful, we, we need one more staff path, so that way they can get to the trash chute and the depot. Now, last but not least, uh, we're going to do one more thing. That's going to be a staff room back here. Staff need to go on break on occasion, and they are most effective when they're in a staff room. Um, but staff rooms, just because they break immersion, are also not something that people like to see. So we're going to put that right here in this corner. Now, at the moment, yeah, people walking in front will be okay, but any is the moment you peek around here, it's going to just kill the scenery ratings for everything. Um, if we were to, for example, um, just wrap these this tile around this whole build right here, um, and then we take a look at the scenery view, oops, uh, decoration view, yeah, ugly city, ugly, 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 and because these things are exposed, it's making this place ugly too. No way, no. So we're going to fix that. Uh, the way we're going to fix that is through walls. See, scenery here, it actually has a functional effect in the game. Um, they can actually block line of sight. They can, in addition to just giving you positive scenery, some pieces of scenery are there just to block out the, uh, the uh, negative ugly ones. Um, so let's find, yeah, solid wall right here. Now we are going to um, set up basically these walls around this whole perimeter. Uh, just like this. Well, almost the whole perimeter. Because uh, that's going to block this in. Now, we're not going to put one right here. Um, we are going to put one right over here, though. Uh, now, in this space right here, we want a doorway. Uh, because our staff do need to get into this little area. Um, uh, but with a doorway, we can then do a quick search for door. Uh, and then just pick one of the normal ones. You do not want door closed. You just want a normal door. Uh, we'll go for this one. And you can put that right there in the frame. And that will that will effectively block out the line of sight, but still allow people to pass through it. And since this is an employee-only road or pathway, only your employees can go in here. Now, to uh, uh, complete our logistics here, our... Um, our depot needs to be told what shops it's, it's supply. So we want to click on it and uh, link that up to all three of our shops here. The bathroom does not need to be supplied. Um, but now it, it now this depot knows that it will generate goods that can keep all three of these things stocked. We still need a hauler to actually bring the goods, but as you can see, it's not too far uh, for them to bring it. Now, um, just to complete this build, because yeah, there's still going to be some ugliness, especially if you have some things higher up uh, with this, this uh, area sort of still being exposed from the top. Uh, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to do a half wall. Uh, let's find one of the same style that we did before. And hold down your shift key to bring it up a little bit. And we're going to do a, a ring around the rosy of half walls, including to the front of your shops up here. Just to sort of give this building a little bit more contiguous of a shape. And also to get stuff out of the way. Because um, uh, with just a single wall height, some of these uh, elements stick out if you were to put a roof on it. So by going up a half wall measure there, that makes the building tall enough to be able to contain everything in it. Um, and then last but not least, we have a roof. Um, usually the flat roof is, is best here. Obviously, you know, if you want to design your park with it, its own aesthetics, you can go with other shapes. But in my opinion, I'm, I want this roof flat for multiple reasons, not just because it's simple to place. But I have more, more plans for this particular building. Um, and there we go, viola. Um, we, uh, if we take our decorate, take a look at our decorations. The only place that has a little, even tiniest hint of negativity is this one tiny space in front of the door. Um, but everything else is completely blocked off, and actually, uh, your shops will generate a little bit of positive 
um, stuff, including the negative energy. Uh, the reason why we sandwich the bathrooms in between the shops is the bathrooms have a little bit of a negative projection, but you still got to leave them open to the public. So um, sandwiching the shop in between these two shops here will the positives uh, will cancel out the negatives from the shop and, and make the area a net uh, bonus to scenery. But this this alone does not a part make. Um, I mean, you can get our we can get ourselves a hauler on here, um, and they will start filling up those shops. Uh, but there's more to this build than this. This this is now the core. You can take this particular build and use that to, as sort of the anchor for whatever else you're building. Now, I have a little bit more things that I, I have in mind for this particular setup that I will be exploring in future tips video. But for now, I think we are, uh, we are good on here. Um, so I'm going to actually uh, take uh, uh, put this up on the gallery. I know this wasn't too hard to, to, to make, but just so you can download the, the blueprint and just slap it down for yourself. Um, if you don't happen to have, if you're playing a scenario that doesn't have these specific shops, just fill them in with whatever shops you have or whatever shops you want. The important part is one food, one drink, and one utility. Uh, and even the utility is ultimately optional. Um, so, uh, but if you want to see more of these tips and, um, and you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or indifferent, your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya! As you can see, our worker is diligently supplying them, and even when they need no more, um, when, when they need new things of supplies, they can get supplied lightning quick without bothering anyone.